Today I've got a crochet hack for you. This is for when you're doing projects that tell you to like chain 327. Who wants to count that? Not me. All you need for this hack is two balls of the same color yarn. It's a big project. You're going to use more than one ball anyway. So, I mean, you have it, right? So the only downside to this technique is you got two extra ends to weave in. So what you're going to do is start by chaining a bunch. Don't count it. Just you can go until it looks right or just until you get tired of doing chains. It doesn't matter. Okay, so there we go. I've done a bunch of chains. You would probably do more because you know you need more than this. This is what, maybe 20, 25, 30. It's not enough for a blanket, but this is just to show you the technique. So I've got my base chain here. I'm going to bring in another strand of the same color of yarn, but I'm from a different ball. I've got my end this way and the working end for the chain I've just pulled the loop out big so it doesn't undo and it's heading in that direction. Now we're going to take our new yarn you can just join it on and do your turning chain but that puts these two starting ends in the same place so what I prefer to do is a standing double crochet. We're, I'm doing double crochet but you can do a standing stitch in any size. You start with a, a slip knot and put the loop on your hook. You do any yarn overs you need. I'm doing double crochet. And then you just work into the first chain, pull up the loop, and then finish the stitch normally. And then you just work along your chain however you normally do. Okay. All right, so say that's how many stitches I needed. You've done your 335 stitches or whatever it is that the pattern called for, and you've got all these extra chains left over. Well, what you do is you pull on the working side of that chain and you rip back to there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this yarn and you're gonna pull it through the loop and there's your, your finished knot. So you have this end to weave in that's extra, plus this one at the beginning. Now, if you got this far and you're running out of chains, now don't wait until you've completely run out. I'm just gonna make a couple more here. You've gotten this far, you only have a couple of chains left, but you know you need more stitches than that. So just pull this loop out big so it doesn't pull out accidentally on you. Go back to your chain and chain some more. Okay, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.